Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I'm The Framed and welcome back to the next episode of my Diablo 2 Lore Destruction Let's Play. Alright, so in the last episode, look at our quest here really quick, uh, we made it to, or no, <clears throat> excuse me, we uh, saved some prisoners from uh, bales, minions of whatever, and uh, then we made it to the Crystalline Passage. We haven't done anything in there yet, but we are going to in today's episode. We will be finding the Frozen River, as you can see here, and we'll be saving uh, this this girl, Anya, or whatever her name is, uh, because we got a bad guy in our mists. Uh, I think, did we talk to him? I don't think we ever talked to him. He's actually here in town, but we don't exactly know that he's a bad guy yet. Or maybe he's not here anymore. Uh, so never mind, he's not here anymore. Uh, but yeah, he is a bad guy. It's Neelithak, or whatever his name is. Uh, but he's going to give a sacred, re sacred relic to Bale. Uh, which will help him take over the world, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be making our way to the Crystalline Passage uh, to find the Frozen River, or whatever that's called, uh, and save the lady. So yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Awesome. And I need to use my Burst of Speed. Holy cow. And I really need to get a new mouse. Uh, my mouse wheel is not working too hot right now. Really unfortunate. Um, because I actually do, if you, any of you are wondering, I do use my mouse wheel to, uh, to switch between my right click abilities, so my charge up attack, and my other abilities, I actually use my mouse wheel to switch between those things, I don't use the hotkeys, you know, the F1, F2, whatever, I just use my mouse wheel, um, and if I can't switch between abilities really fast like, uh, you know, that's just not good, you know. And let's take down that guy. Pick up this ring right here. That's pretty awesome. Um, sorry, dead person. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the waypoint first. Uh, just so that we have the waypoint. And then once we have the waypoint, we will look for the frozen river. Or if we find the frozen river, river first, we'll say, hey, that's the frozen river right there. And then we'll go find the crystalline passage and then come back to... Or... Yeah, anyways, <laughs> I, whatever, uh, kill these guys here and head this way. When running through a, a cave, uh, just a little helpful tip, try and stay to the sides. Uh, like, try and stay, see how I'm, you can see my, my pointer here. I just try to stay to the sides just so I, that way I know I'm always going to find at least one of the places I'm trying to get to, basically, because it's, I don't think I've ever found uh, the exit or a way down further into a cave in the middle of, you know, of a cave. It's always along the edges somewhere. So that's just a little helpful tip, I guess. I don't know. Come back here. And got some more baddies over here. And actually, now that I'm, I'm actually still using Fist of Fire, if you hadn't noticed. And I'm going to switch to my this thing because I, with the Fist of Fire, I don't really have to pay attention to my mana all that much. So I'm going to do that and then go like that and keep going. Kaboom. Because uh, that does a little, the Dragon Claw, excuse me, does do a little bit more damage than my auto attack does. Not a whole lot more, but it does do more. And cold resist shrine, sure, why not? Uh, if we look at my character, you'll see that I have zero cold resist, uh, except for the cold resist that I just got from that shrine. Uh, it is actually at zero. I have zero cold defense normally, uh, which is not good, especially in this act, because uh, they do cold damage in this act. And uh, so yeah, not not the best move on my part. I've been trying to find a belt of some sort. Uh, that has some cold uh, resist on it, but I have been very unlucky so far. And it looks like we found the waypoint. Lucky us. Alright, so now that we have the waypoint, we're going to be looking for the uh, way down into the frozen river so that we can find Anyana, or whatever her name is, and uh, save her because uh, we're nice guys. And plus, you do want to save her because uh, you get some pretty neat stuff from her in terms of shop-wise, and then she also... Uh, gives you an item, I believe. I'm not sure what she's going to give me. I do not remember what she gives the assassin. 
Uh, so we're going to find out together, everybody. That'll be fun. But we're going to head this way and hopefully find what we are looking for. And let's take down this guy right here. Yeah, as you can see, they are doing cold damage, and cold damage is not fun. Uh, especially for me right now, just because I don't have the... Uh, the defense for it or the resist for it or whatever you want to call it kill this guy um, even though I don't really have the resist for it as you can see I'm really not taking that much damage I'm still pretty strong uh, so yeah not too worried about not having that kind of defense but you know still it's nice to have and I'm definitely gonna want it um, for the next difficulty and I cannot hit a thing holy cow uh, and look, we found it. We have the frozen river right here. I'm actually going to pick up that healing potion and uh, just use it right now. Get back to full health uh, before I head down. And where is my... There she is. Uh, we're going to use our burst of speed really quick before we head down there. And uh, this place, I... It's completely random. I know I say that a lot, but I really have don't really have tips on how to find... Uh, Ayana or whatever her name is uh, efficiently or quickly it's really it's just very random I have no idea so we're just gonna start running around aimlessly and hope we find it and do that and that and uh, basically what you're looking for is uh, this like it's kind of like an island within this place ouch I'm gonna use a potion um, Oh, these are champions. No wonder. It's like, these guys are doing so much damage to me. Um, but yeah, we're kind of looking for an island type place. And there will be a champion, unique monster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it'll be one of the abominables. One of those big, snowy, yeti looking things. Uh, that will be there. And we'll have to kill that. Well, we don't have to kill it. But it's smart too, because it's good XP. And uh, oh, one other thing to mention. Uh, these undead guys actually come back to life after a little while in this area. So uh, if you just kind of wait around a little while, I think they do come back to life. Uh, so you got to watch out for that and be aware of it, I guess. It's really not that big of a deal because they're kind of pansies. But it's something to look out for. And let's take these guys down and take down these abominables. Take these guys down, pick up the money while we're at it, and just head this way, I guess. Like I said, I don't really know uh, how to get there quickly, so I'm just kind of running in a direction and hoping I find it. And it looks like I picked the wrong direction here. And it looks like my minion just kind of jumped across. Uh, as you can see, that guy came back to life, so we can kill it really quick here. Again. <laughs> I don't know if they give more XP, like... Like I know in like the first act with the shamans, they revive their their fallen or whatever, and uh, they don't give more XP when you hit like when you kill them again. The the ones that have died already, I don't know if uh, they give more X or give XP again. And wow, this is crazy stuff going on here. And I really wish I had uh, some cold resist and some. Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, lessens my freeze duration or whatever. I wish I had some of that on me. Uh, because they are kind of freezing me or at least slowing me a lot, which is kind of really annoying. Uh, but only kind of. <laughs> and, uh, let's take this guy down. Take these guys down. Hmm. Don't know where to go. Going to pick up this. Um, got some blood temptresses. It looks like we're just guy like, heading in a straight direction here, or heading this way. If you kind of follow my pointer there, we're just kind of heading in that direction in general.
And are you over here? Well, looks like this place is kind of a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Um, head this way. I really hope I find it soon. Are you over here? Hmm. Um, I'm actually going to go this way because I think this way looks more promising. And uh, the little thing in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, the quest log thing popped up. That means I, it's probably right right up ahead. I'm going to use my burst of speed before I head in there. Uh, so here we are. We found it. And I can see, as you can see, there are the Abominables. Uh, it is a champion, unique, or whatever you want to call them. And it looks like they are fairly... Uh, susceptible to my fire damage which is awesome uh, as you can see he is also cold immune so it's good that we're using our fire and we're gonna pick up that so if we can't we're gonna talk to Ayana hero Neolithak uh, did this to me if you've come to help me my only hope lies with uh, Mala please tell her you found me okay I will go do that when I feel like it how about that as you see, that guy just came back to life. Annoying. Uh, but we're going to pick up this stuff. She can chill there for a little while longer. And I don't need... Oh, hey, I leveled up. That's fun. Uh, we're going to head back to town here. And I will talk to her in just a second. First, I want to uh, identify my items. And then head back this way. So, that snake Leela back behind was behind Ayana's disappearance. And he trapped her in the freezing curse here take this potion to Ayana and give it to her it will release her okay uh, but we're gonna get rid of this junk in our inventory don't care about that and I don't care about that either let's head back and talk to her and I don't think she's actually gonna talk to us right here she's gonna teleport herself back to town uh, and we will be doing the same thing as well. Let's go back to town. And uh, now we'll go talk to Ayana down here. She lives right down here. You've proven yourself to be a true hero uh, to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our council of elders is gone. My father, August, or uh, Ost, <laughs> among them, one of one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Uh, thank you, hero, for rescuing me. Show you my personal gratitude. I give you this. I had it custom made for you by uh, Lazak. Neolithok told me that he struck a deal with Bale to protect Hagarath in exchange for the demon's mercy. Uh, the mis uh, misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariet unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Neolithak, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Neolithak must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to, to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I have, haven't the strength. Uh, you must go to the lair through this portal I have opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop Neolithak from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect. All right, so it looks like it is our job to go stop Neolithak before he gives this Relic of the Ancients to Bale so that he can enter Mount Ariet. Un not on challenge. Anyways, yeah, so that's what we got to do. We're going to, she did actually give us a, an item here. We got Enhanced Damage, Radiant Cold. Yeah, this this sucks. Girl, why, don't you, why couldn't you give me something just a little bit better? I know you got this, you know personally made for me but it's it's not that great uh so i'll probably just be selling it because as you can see it does 2 to 18 and these do uh 12 to 22 plus this only has cold damage on it and a little bit of extra enhanced damage um whereas these uh have enhanced damage uh you know life steal crushing blows and all this awesome stuff and this one has uh, all that elemental damage, so this sucks. So we're going to get rid of it. And uh, looks like she sells some pretty interesting stuff, actually. 
and none of which I like unless it had some cold damage or cold resist on it then I might snag it but it looks like we're out of luck but that's okay uh, we like the items we have honestly and I did level up uh, so I'm going to do something with that and I think I'm going to pump my either dexterity or vitality I'm trying to think right now um, I think I want to pump my dexterity because I haven't really been hitting very well um, yeah I'm just kinda like swinging my guitars and I'm not really hitting anything so I'm gonna pump that throw all the points in there and go over here and it looks like I have one skill point I can spend and I'm gonna throw it into uh, I guess this since this is kinda of the build I'm going for uh, that is what I'll be pumping and probably by the end of this difficulty I will go back to the first area that we started in um, the rogue encampment or whatever and go talk to uh, Akara and have her uh, start over I don't know what the right term is but uh, she'll allow me to start over on my skill trees and that kind of stuff so that I can make things a little bit more efficient I guess uh, but yeah we'll save that for later um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pump pump that. And I'm actually going to end the episode here. In the next episode, I'll make my way to Neelothok's uh, lair and destroy him. At least that's the plan. Uh, but yeah, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any comments, questions, advice, whatever, go ahead and leave those in the comment section. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing here with my Diablo 2 Lord Destruction Let's Play, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you wouldn't mind it, I would love it if you would go to my Facebook page and like me there as well. Uh, but until next time, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all next time.